The newer versions of Google Chrome block third-party cookies by default. Google has obviously made this change to improve the security of the browser, but as a side effect, this change can likely break websites that rely on different windows communicating with each other. Let me show you an example. So here I am in Google Sheets and uh, let me open the email editor that will help me compose an email inside Google Sheets. Now when I write my email and save the changes, this email window needs to communicate with the sidebar of Google Sheets that the email template has been saved. And this uh, communication is done through cookies. Now I am inside Safari and here all the cookies are enabled by default and hence the functionality is working as desired. Now let me switch to Google Chrome and uh, by default Google Chrome blocks third-party cookies and here if I open the same Google Sheets add-on which is Document Studio, you will notice that I get a message saying that third-party cookies are blocked. Now how do you fix this? Now there are two ways to go about it. So if I click the lock icon, I can see the cookies option. Uh, it shows the number of cookies that are enabled for this website. And if I click on cookies, here I can switch to the tab that shows the blocked cookies. And this is the reason why the add-on is not working because these cookies are required for the add-on to work. Now a very simple solution to this problem is that you select the cookie that ends with the script.googleusercontent.com domain and simply unblock it. Now if you reload the sheet, uh, you'll notice that the Google add-on will start working again. The problem with this approach is that you will have to do it for every add-on that's installed in your G Suite, be it a Google Sheets add-on, Google Docs, Google Forms or even a Google Slides add-on. So let me show you a more simpler approach. Go to the Chrome settings menu. And here choose privacy and security option. Now if you scroll down you will see the cookies section and uh, the block third party cookies option is selected. Next you will see a section that says sites that can always use cookies. So click the add button. Now here you can put googleusercontent.com and this is a regular expression so any website, any cookie that is from googleusercontent.com or any subdomain of this domain will be allowed and thus all your add-ons will continue to work. Thanks.